there has always been interfering uh, interference in internal politics since independence, the so-called independence. Uh, Kenya, I mean, if we are going to get into the political, uh, there has always been interfering uh, interference in internal politics since independence, the so-called independence. So yes, Britain, for example, and the United States have had a stranglehold on Kenya for 60 years, since we had the so-called uh, flag independence. The economy of Kenya is largely in the hands of foreign interest. Um, large swaths of land that the, the colonial uh, administration and, and interests held are still actually under their control up to today. Huge plantations are controlled by them. They control the banking sector, for example. They control most of the trade. Um, they control the ideological thinking of our current administration's economic advisors. The Council of Economic Advisors in the president's office are ultra right wing ideologues of the Bretton Woods Institution, you know, the World Bank and the IMF. It's been the same goal before colonialism and now, and that is natural resources in Africa. Really, this is about resources. It's always been. It's either land, minerals, uh, you know, raw materials. It, that's, that's the primary intention of the Western governments. But there is also geopolitical, you know, interest. Uh, regarding the Horn of Africa and the rest of Africa, uh, because once they have the control of South Africa, Nigeria, Kenya, and Egypt, they believe they would be able to control the rest of Africa. So there is, if you will, a new scramble for Africa. The West has consistently, over the last 60 years, made sure that progressive voices are silenced or killed. So what the West would be doing today is not new. That's why I'm surprised that somebody would be saying the West is accused of interfering in internal affairs of Kenya. It's always been like that.